Good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a video walk around of this 2017 uh, on a 67 plate Vauxhall Vivaro 1.6 CDTI Sportive. Uh, obviously, uh, as you know, the Sportive is like their top of the range model, has all the goodies on it. Um, this van has been prepared as a proper workhorse van, as you can see. Um, or we'll see shortly. It has a Rhino rack on the roof, uh, which is obviously quite expensive um, And you have additional security locks uh, on all of the doors of the van so um, It's been prepped ready to work basically uh, So it's 25,000 miles from new uh, Still a bit of manufacturer's warranty left on it at the moment uh, nice condition few very minor bits on it uh, we'll show you as we go around um, we do tend to do warts and all on our videos so you get a good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying um, so uh, starting off from the front end shall we we're gonna go up and look at your windscreen so no major stone chips on your windscreen to point out to you all tidy from that point of view it's very difficult to show you the roof but there is the rack and roof up there and then obviously showing you the bonnet uh, we've got a bit of dust on it at the moment so the bonnet may actually look worse uh, in a video than it actually is in real life because um, uh, the wind that we've had in the last 24 hours has just blown everything onto it um, but uh, actual fact on the bonnet uh, there's no major stone chips to point out to you um, looking at the driver's front corner driver's headlamp unit all in good condition Driver bumper corner and fog light, again in good condition, there's no scuffing. Light unit itself is in good condition, the grill, obviously front bumper, all good. Passenger, fog light unit and headlamp, again all good. Now, I'll try and get you a shot going down the side of the vehicle. So hopefully you can see in this video here, um, it's a straight van no dents or dings to point out to you on the passenger side of the vehicle um, we are going to look at your front tyres so front tyres look very good uh, you can see that it's got good years fitted to it as well uh, tyre tread depth is very good and as part of our PDI process you will get your exact measurements on your tyres light you uh, sorry uh, mirror unit we've got some very small bits of scuffing here um, it may well tea cut out, um, but I think that's the only mark on it. The rest of the unit is actually in good condition, so it is just the painted bit. Let's see if we can get the polishing mop on it. Now if we stand back from the vehicle, we're in bright sunlight here today, uh, and the gimbal seems to have a mind of its own at the moment, so but hopefully you can see it's all in one shade of black. We look at it from the passenger rear quarter again no real dents or dings to point out to you on the passenger side of the vehicle your passenger side rear bumper is good no scuffing to point out to you and your passenger side rear tire again has got a matching goodyear tire on it which has plenty of tread depth this vehicle has additional security locks on all the doors so rear door side door and your front doors all have additional locking on them and you've got a very nice and expensive full length rhino roof rack on the roof there. Now we've got a little bit of chipping just on the edge of the door here. We will get these professionally touched in for you. And if I open up the passenger side of the vehicle, I'm dodging the sunlight a little bit, but hopefully you can see on this video here, so your entry plate and entry sills are in nice condition, the plastic's not chewed up and the actual painted sill itself is in good condition. I'll try and let the light adjust, but as you can see, passenger floor again, it doesn't look as though there's too many heavy work boots gone in there. And the actual dash itself is in nice condition, little bits of piano black trim on it. You've got additional storage in here and you've also got a of box storage in there. I'll run you through all of the exact kit when I'm around the other side. And your front seating, again, we'll try and let the sunlight just adjust to the camera lens. But 
go up to the roof, shall we? Show you that the roof lining is nice and tidy. Passenger seat, all very nice. Have to excuse our camera on the seat there. We're not hiding anything. I better move it, otherwise people won't believe me. There we go. The seating material is in good condition. Side loading door on the passenger side. Um, now, again, I'm battling the sunlight. Always comes out at the wrong time, doesn't it? But I suppose we shouldn't complain. So factory bulkhead. And if I scan down here, you can see it's not had a hard life, that bulkhead at all. You have your opening flap here. That opens up and gives you additional load length underneath your passenger seat. And again, the gimbal's having a little bit of a heart attack. But your load step here into the rear of the vehicle is good. And it's got a good set of ply lining on it. I think we'll get a better idea of that when I open it up from the other end and the sunlight's not playing havoc with our video but I think you can see it's not had it's not been bashed around too much in the back there so rear of the vehicle this is what we call the working end of the vehicle uh, it is the part of the vehicle that takes the hardest amount of abuse um, so obviously as you can see we have rear barn doors on this vehicle we have additional security again fitted to the doors and there is a mark on the rear door here so the best we can probably do on that is probably touch it in and get our dent man in see if he can do anything with reference to the dent on it but there is a little ding on there at the moment as i say we do do warts and all videos so you will get and we've just got a little bit of a that actually may polish out i think i think that little bit there is on top of the lacquer so i think that should polish out again another idea of what sort of use the van's got rear bumper now we've not painted this this is as it's come in so as you can see it's not chewed to pieces it's not scratched to pieces um, it's in uh, good condition and another telltale sign of what sort of use a van has got is the rear doors on the inside so your plastic coverings there and your actual metal work on the doors here is in nice condition and it hasn't been battered and abused same with the rest of the interior of the van it's had a nice easy life in the back here to be fair there we go and then if we go around to the driver's side of the vehicle so we'll just point out to you rear light unit both of them are in good condition no cracking or chips same with your fog light units down here and then passenger uh, sorry driver side rear quarter bumper corner all in good condition no scuffs and again hopefully if i hold it here and use the gimbal a little bit we'll get a nice view of the driver's side of the vehicle nice and shiny like a mirror finish there so no dental dings to point out to you on the driver's side driver's side rear wheel again is another goodyear tire uh, in good condition again and this is the hubcap and i'm afraid where we are today trying to battle the sun I'm trying to give you an idea that it's nice and tidy down this side hopefully you can get an idea of that additional security locks so we've got these locks on both the driver and passenger doors they're not slam locks they are the additional security locks so if you want to um, use those in the evening or whatever it gives you some additional security over and above that your standard dead locking driver's door handle and paintwork behind there is in good conditions not being um, used by people with long nails who've scratched it and Drivers, wheel, hubcap, tyre, again another good year in good condition. Mirror unit in good condition. And if I open up the driver's side, again, let's have a look at your entry steps. So both your entry sill and entry step plastic is in good condition. And both the floor and your pedals, again, in nice condition. The seat itself, no undue wear or tear on it from people getting in and out 
and is in nice condition. This vehicle does have a leather multifunction steering wheel because it has cruise control as well. You have electric windows and electric mirrors over here. And then over here we have Bluetooth telephone and music. We have the air conditioning. It is the six speed gearbox with this one. Driver's armrest. All in all, not bad condition at all. Um, especially for a black van. Obviously a black van does tend to show up a lot more than say your standard white would do. Now, if I pop the bonnet as a final thing. There we are, just open up the bonnet. It's all nice and tidy and clean under there. So your bonnet bolts and wing bolts are in nice condition. They're not chipped, they're not rusty, just shows you that we've not had any paint or panel work off on there. And there we go. Um, I hope that helps. We have taken about 40 odd photos on this van. They will be loaded up very shortly onto our website, which is vanstoday.com. And we are Vans Today Worcester, obviously based in Worcester in the centre of the UK. Uh, I'm Simon. Uh, you can check us out on Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc, etc. Uh, if you want to go a bit old school and give me a call, um, you can contact me on 01905 672 080. Appreciate you looking at the video. If I can be of any more help, give us a shout.